So. So. Um, uh, how have you been recently? Besides dealing with Tiffany, I mean. I'm all right. I've just been catching up on all my schoolwork since Tiffany makes me do all of her homework. You know, you should really stop doing that. <sighs> Look, if all you're going to do is give me reasons why I should leave Tiffany, then maybe I should just go. No, I'm serious. You may not see it, but she's taking advantage of you. And? You know how much my friendship with Tiffany means to me, and I'm not about to lose it. I'm leaving. You know, I thought you were different. I thought you'd understand. I... <sighs> you know, Heather, I thought you were a smart girl. I thought you'd be able to see why Tiffany isn't a good friend for you. Tiffany treats you so poorly. The whole reason why we're here is because she threw you into tension. For no good reason either. I would have thought you'd be more angry at her for ruining your perfect- you just be quiet? I don't care what you think about Tiffany, Jordan. She's my friend. If you're going to talk about my poor choices and friends, then take a look at you and your pathetic sister. Hey! I'm not done. Your sister is so disrespectful and rude and extremely hot-tempered for no reason. Yeah, she may be your sister, but seeing how she treats you, she isn't a good friend. Maybe you should think about the situation you're in before you worry about another person. After all, practice what you preach. Esther is my sister, and by default, I love her, but it's different with you and Tiffany. I don't want to hear it. Maybe not, but you should. Heather, you're a smart, beautiful, and talented young lady. Quite frankly, if you look up the word perfection in the dictionary, I'm sure your picture would be there. <laughs> I just don't understand why you would throw all that away just to be with someone who clearly doesn't care about you in the same way you care about her. I, I, I get it. You two are close, but Tiffany is no good for you. You're throwing away your talents all for some. Like I said, I don't want to hear it. I, uh, uh... <laughs> I'm glad you think all those things about me, Jordan. What you said was nice. Well, uh, it, um, uh, uh, it's true, so, uh... Anyways, it's getting late. I should probably go. Uh, yeah, 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 um... Would you like me to walk you home? And risk something happening before our first date? <laughs> Not a chance. Wait, first date? <laughs> I'll see you later, Jordan. Josh and I yesterday. Oh, well, why don't you just tell me now? Because I want to wait for the boys to get here. That way, I can say it all in one go instead of having to explain it over and over and over and... And here I thought you would find any excuse to talk about Josh more. Hey, girls. How are you? I'm good, but this one here just might burst out of excitement. Oh, how come? Well... Something happened between Josh and I yesterday, and I'm... Ah! 
Ah, R. R doesn't give us much to work off, dude. Ugh, be patient. Okay, so yesterday, Mr. Jingles threw me and Josh out of class for some stupid reason. I mean, Batman said that water was invented and... Get to the point, Esther. Right, sorry. So, while we were in the hallway, we started to talk and oh my gosh, oh my gosh, he was so cute. Then the craziest thing happened. What happened? I fell asleep on his shoulder. Oh my gosh, he was so sweet and comfy. And he was so nice and he started talking to me really nicely and we like connected on another level that was so amazing and so amazing. And, and he smelled really good like flowers and body spray and soap and a little bit of orange scented air freshener. Uh, what? What? Esther, you're crazy. Anyways, where's your brother? Jordan, hmm, I don't know. He's probably still in the shower singing to himself or something. Why would he be singing to himself? I mean, he's a strange one, but not that strange. I don't know, but he's been acting really weird since last night. First, I found him laying down on the ground. Then I saw him making kissy faces in the mirror. Oh, and let's not forget about him screaming in the bathroom like a... Okay, I'm gonna stop you right there. I really, really don't need all the details. Well, okay. Well, I reckon it has to be a girl. What? Well, why else would he be acting so weird? It has to be a girl. Okay, I'm going to stop you right there. It's not a girl. Well, how would you know? From what I've seen, Jordan is a lot better at hiding his feelings than you are. Because the only girl he's ever talked to since we got here, other than Ella, is Heather. So you're not? I'm going to ignore that. Well, you never know, Esther. Jordan is a good-looking dude, and Heather is, as annoying as she might be, a good-looking girl. And what? <laughs> Whatever. I'm not going to buy it. They were basically at each other's throats a few days ago in detention. Well, I'm going to class now. See you guys later. It's totally a girl. Agreed. Agreed. Uh, hey! Uh, what do you want, Easter? First of all, it's Esther. Second of all, you shoved me into a wall! Well, it's not my fault you were in the way, Easter. Okay, seriously, I know you have a negative 2000 IQ, but come on! At least pronounce my name correctly. Um, what did you just say to me, loser? <laughs> you cannot and will not talk to me that way. Need I remind you, I can ruin you and your little group's reputation if I wanted to. In fact, you should feel lucky as I haven't yet. So don't you dare challenge me, Easter. Because if you do, I will bite back ten times harder. We'll just see about that, Miss Princess. Tiffany, you've just met your match, and you better watch your back. Dude, I'm good. That's nice. Did you just get out of soccer practice? Yeah. Uh, how did you know? Um, just a lucky guess. So, are you heading home now? Yep. <laughs> My mom just called and told me to come home. I don't know why. She's weird like that. That's good that your mother cares about you. I bet she's a sweet lady. Uh, yeah, she is. Hey. hey. Sorry, you go first. Oh, well, I've been doing some thinking lately. I? I'm shocked. What? Huh? Uh, anyway, uh, I've been doing some thinking lately, and I think 
I like you more than I like Tiffany. What? Uh, yeah, dude. <laughs> You're, like, a lot nicer than she is. Tiffany just tells me to do whatever she wants all the time. Sometimes it just feels like she doesn't care. Really? I totally haven't noticed. Yeah, dude, totally. Uh, but you, uh, you actually care about me, Esther. You're actually nice, <laughs> unlike her. So, so what you're saying is... Do you want to go out with me? I, I, I'd love to. Oh my gosh, this is a dream come true. Sweet. <laughs> well, I better go home now. Right, of course you do. But before you go, don't you think you should break up with Tiffany first? You know, before we go out. Hmm? Oh, uh, yeah, probably. I'll do that later. <laughs> See you later, dude.